You're watching Battlecast Primetime on the debut of Command & Conquer TV. Kane lives, and he's here in studio. What juicy tidbits can we get out of actor Joe Kukin on the making of Command & Conquer 3? Speaking of juicy tidbits, what earth-shattering surprises does the CNC dev team have up its sleeve? Plus, the main event. Two top commanders in the CNC 3 ladder face off in our very first Battlecast Primetime match. So how come one player is already talking revenge? Stay tuned. This is your new home for exclusive celebrity interviews, official CNC news, and the greatest fan matches ever seen on the web. Battlecast Primetime starts now. You're logged in to Battlecast Primetime alongside my friend Raj Joshi. I'm David Silverman. It's been more than a decade since the first Command & Conquer was released and we fully realized that the franchise couldn't have been such a runaway success if it wasn't for you, the fiercely loyal fans. That's why Battlecast Primetime was created. It's a tribute and a showcase for the folks who actually play the game and make CNC the worldwide sensation it is today. Here's how it works. From deep within the bowels of the Battlecast Primetime Command Center, we scope out all the online action that's being uploaded to the web using the new CNC3 Battlecast feature. This is the option that allows players to broadcast their matches for others to see, either live or on replay. We look for the most exciting and creative matches we can find, then we show them to you here, complete with play-by-play, -play, player interviews, and strategic breakdowns. It's a great way to learn more about the nuances of Command & Conquer 3, improve your battle strategies, and perhaps even get you and your match on this program. Battlecast Primetime viewers will also get the latest news on patches, upgrades, and other cool stuff, plus tips, tricks, and secrets from the folks who actually make the game here at EA. Yes, it's all about community camaraderie and blowing each other to smithereens. So in that spirit of brotherhood, let's turn to community manager Aaron Apoc Kaufman with the latest news by the fans for the fans in Apoc's Community Corner. What's up all you Command & Conquerors? If you haven't seen me lately in EGM Magazine, wearing a sombrero, riding a scooter, or impersonating David Hasselhoff with our fans in Germany. I love you guys, by the way. Well then hopefully you'll get used to seeing me now in my new pimped out, swagged out CNC corner right here. We're now four months past the launch of CNC 3. Over five million online games have been served. And we're just getting started. All you mothership lovers out there, and uh, I know who you guys are. We're getting ready to fire our own Catalyst Cannon right back at you with the upcoming launch of Patch 1.07. Turned around in no less than 15 days, 360 hours, and 21,600 minutes since Patch 1.06 released. So far, Patch 1.07 will introduce a number of critical balance changes not limited to, but aimed at stopping scrawny pitbull spammers. Greg Black has no respect for pitbull spammers and defensive structure crawlers. Not to mention giving the harvesters a slightly better IQ. This patch also fixes a number of technical bugs and sends the mammoth tanks rolling over some of our better known cheaters. Look for patch 1.07 soon in August. And if that's not enough, patch 1.07 finally unlocks the creative power of modding in CNC3 with our exclusive modification software developer kit, AKA Mod SDK. This is our developer toolkit that will give you, our creative and talented community, the ability to manipulate and modify a huge portion of our game code and art. This long-awaited mod SDK will enable all you modders to put those shameless walls in, and when I say shameless, I mean shameless. Creepy looking Tiberian for all you Tiberian sun lovers out there, and mechs with eight legs for everybody else. In other words, this powerful, powerful mod SDK includes all of our XML files, so you can balance our factions to your liking, updated 3DS Max plugins to create your very own APOC scooter models, bonus points to you guys for that, UI textures to paint the game, your favorite color, pattern, or theme, and a nifty data builder and mod launcher to get your total conversion mod up and running. Hit up our official site for the upcoming total conversion mods that are planned, or visit our friends at www.moddb.com, where you can read about over 30 different mods in the pipeline, all of whom are anxiously awaiting the release of this mod SDK, so they can show Kane how to really take over the universe and not always disappear in a white light. What a coward. Alongside Patch 1.07, we're also going to be bringing our first official ladder season for CNC3 to the multiplayer masses. No more will you, Mr. 28,765, on our competitive 1v1 ladder, have to worry about playing games for nothing. If you find yourself in a match against a top ranked player, you can actually send him packing way down the ladder, maybe even close to your ranks if you defeat him. 
and likely find yourself moving up more than a few thousand spots. Keep your eyes peeled on our official site at www.commandandconquer.com. So before I squeeze out of this corner, pay attention to these quick community bites. The community's largest CNC3 mapping competition in its fourth run, Open Map Competition, has just received a fracking huge ELA CNC development team Tesla Bolt sponsorship in the arm, sure to ignite exciting tremors in the community. But you're gonna have to hit our message words after watching this show to find out what the winners of the competition will receive from us here at EA. Enter now at www.cncommunity.net. After three plus years in the making and one hell of an all-star mod team, CNC All-Stars, a total conversion mod for Command & Conquer Generals Zero Hour, has been released. This mod aims to bring the greatest units, greatest structures, greatest gameplay ideas, and the greatest moments from CNC games into one spanking awesome total conversion mod. Zero Hour owners get this now at www.cncgeneralsworld.com. And yes, one more thing, mark this date down. Come join me, APOC, August 23rd to the 25th, along with select members of the CNC development team at the Leipzig Games Convention in, you guessed it, Leipzig, Germany. Need I say, our development team has a history of making a big splash at this event, and this year is going to be no less. Well, that's all I got for you guys right now. This has been APOC's Community Corner, and remember, every day is Community Day. Back to you, Dave and Raj.